Hello readers, this is Valen, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to repaint and refinish this side table uh, with any Sloan chalk paint. Um, I already started on the top a little bit so it can kind of dry and I'll show you the brush stroke on the front. Um, but the reason why I decided to refinish this uh, side table with any Sloan chalk paint is because it's odor free, it's very low VOCs, um, it's eco-friendly, I have my eco-friendly tarp down as well, um, and it's also very easy and very fast. So I'm trying to get some uh, furniture pieces for the nursery and trying to figure out how to repurpose the guest furniture uh, that was in there and make it work in the nursery with the colors and whatnot. So you can see that I have started the off-white on the top. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a two-tone sky blue um, and off-white. Um, so that it matches the crib and the rest of the decor. And this is a great piece my sister gave me. Um, great hardware, great bones. The only problem was is that it's the wrong color. So it's great to get some chalk paint. Just give it a paint job. Put a layer of wax over it. Um, any sewn chalk paint, you don't have to treat the wood. You don't have to prime it. You don't have to sand it. So with a furniture piece like this that already has paint, it's okay. You can just paint right on top of it put a layer of wax on, and then repurpose the whole piece, uh, saving me personally about $200 to $250. So let's go ahead and show you how the brush stroke goes. Now if you're going for that more distressed look, then you're kind of want to got, going to want to do a more X and plus sign type of stroke, because once you put the dark wax on, then it gives that more aged look. But for me, I kind of want a, look, a more smooth look. I'm only going with one coat of the chalk paint and then one coat of the clear wax. So it kind of will blend in with the rest of the furniture, which kind of has more of a smooth finish. If you want that old French vintage look, then you're going to want to do a more X uh, pattern with your brush strokes and then apply the dark wax. And then it'll give it that more aged look. Then you can sand the edges um, to give it kind of that more uh, rustic look. But for today, we're going to do the smooth look. Um, so you can see I started on top a little bit. So I'm just going to finish that uh, on top here with just smooth brush strokes. Now don't oversaturate your brushes. This, um, it's very thick paint, so you have to make sure it's not lobbing on here or else it's going to kind of drip and it's also going to um, kind of clog in some places. So it's super easy. This is an Annie Sloan brush. Um, it's got that kind of nice round edge up there for applying specific chalk paint. Now the cool thing is, is that I'm doing a two-tone with the sky blue and off-white. But also, since this is, has a base color of a nice Provence blue, um, if it does chip, let's say, which it doesn't usually, but let's say it does, or if I want to distress it with sandpaper, then this cool blue is actually going to show through. So it's kind of going to give it a tri-layer of dimension. And um, a lot of the French pieces I see in my favorite places around town that do this kind of antique refinishing um, have that base coat that's a different color, so when it kind of chips, it kind of shows through. It's really cool. So you'll see, just kind of slide it around. You don't have to make it super perfect. The whole, the best thing about chalk paint is that the kind of imperfections make it really cool and really special. Now, I have left the hardware on, and I'm kind of painting over the hardware. Now, what I'm doing with this is I'm actually going to paint this drawer over in a sky blue, um, but I want it to have maybe a little bit of that old white underneath, so when it chips, again, it has that kind of like multi-layer look, which is pretty cool. So let me finish this, and I'll be right back to show you the next uh, step in the process. 